So guys, it's me Sunny here and today I'm gonna show you how you can play Pokemon X and Y on your PC. Well, I had uploaded two videos pre previously and those two videos I gave you the ROM. Some of you thought I gave you the emulator as well and said I was scamming you. Well, I wasn't. My purpose was to give you just the ROM. And somehow when I did the second video, I gave you the ROM. I stated clearly with the voice tutorial that the emulator is still not out. And I did this this year. But it turned out at that moment when I was recording, uh, the emulator had already come and it has existed since the start of this year, January 1st. Citra, you might have heard this. It's very common and if I remember right, since the day of release of the Pokemon X games and Pokemon Y games, Pokemon Omega Rubies, well, Citra has been there. It is still under development, it could play only a few commercial games. Well, guess what, now it's not much of a develop emulator where you can play Pokemon X and Y. It's slow, it's not that quality, but it doesn't have the soundtracks. But it still works fine, it's great. It has the good, you know, like, you feel great when you play the game. So, right here I have open Citra, and I'll be putting down a link in the description where you can get Citra and also the ROMs. I won't give the link for the ROMs, but I'll just tell you this. Uh, I'll give you th just two ROMs. I give you Pokemon X and Pokemon Omega Ruby. I won't tell you the names, of the place where I got the ROMs from. Because from videos I have watched until now, the all of them they have not told where they got the ROM from. I guess that's due to some uh, copyright issues or something like that. And I don't want any copyright issues uh, filing up on my channel, so I'm not gonna give you the link, but I'll just tell you this Google is your friend, very, very good friend, and it is what gonna help you. Wait a second, just give me a second. Uh, okay, um, sorry for that. And anyways, resuming back, when Google is your friend, it will help you whenever you want. Just type in Citra ROM, um, downloading Citra ROMs. There will be a blog spot, and that will give you the ROMs for almost all the games that work with Citra. And I have put down the um the save file nothing these are not the save file but save files are inside user save files for Pokemon X and you know Pokemon 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 whatever it has uh, the I have put down the save files and so you could prevent some of the crashes uh, today I'll be just to show you guys I'll be playing Pokemon Omega Ruby and um, of which I have finished the full game and let's begin I guess okay fine I was joking I was not I did not finish the full game because due to some crashes I had to find a save file I found a save file of a person who did it on a 3ds and I put it down I like copy pasted it uh, that will also be there if you need it in a different folder. Um, and I'll try to find the the the, the, the save file without the full thing complete, zero badges, so I can play from the beginning. And I could give it you to you guys so you can play it from the beginning. I'll try my best, and in case you know where it is, 
Um, just tell me I'll update everyone in the world. Not everyone in the world, but everyone watches my videos. Any so that's too much anyway, so you know like I repeated anyways a lot of times. See you again. Okay, let's start. Uh first you need to open up uh let me just close that and you have to open up the Citra folder. Where, where did it go? Citra, Citra, Citra. Yeah, right there. Citra. And uh, when you open it up, just scroll down a little and you'll find Citra Q dash QT dot exe. Um, mind you, this is not the Citra that you can get from the website. This is a, these are a little bit more files. It's supposed to make it run a little bit more faster and also be able to support Pokemon X, uh, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, you know what I mean. So, um, let's go to Citra QOT, um, just let it open. Uh, after opening, after the, the after the command prompt, it will uh, open the application, the basic application. So with it, you need to load the file, and I have it downloaded the 3ds file. Um, I have Pokemon Omega Ruby uh, and Pokemon X. So I said I'm gonna do Pokemon Omega Ruby. So let's open. And if you're playing Pokemon X, you'll um, at the beginning you'll get something black like this. You need to keep on pressing the A button on your keyboard, and you'll be able to play it. So here, I don't think you need to do that, but in case, I'm just gonna. Well, it has loaded now, and. Pokemon Omega Ruby is ready to begin and yeah, there's ground on here there's it says Pokemon Omega Ruby here and it says press start start is basically A so I click A and it should begin yeah there you go. As you can see, it goes in a very, very slow frame rate. And this is a very, very, very boring. As you could see before, the frame rate uh, per second was really, really slow. It is about one frame rate per second and the game has begun just telling you that is really slow but you don't want that to happen when you play right so I mean there is no fix yet but let's keep hoping let's hope that uh, Citra develops a frame rate fix and we could play the game in original frame rate with the best quality we could so let's go like I told you before I downloaded a save file from some guy and that's why it says Tepuzo secret islet 8 badges pokedex 721 time 1810 so 18,010 minutes I suppose so yeah and now I'm on an island I'm stranded let's keep hoping Frame rate fix, please come fast. 
and I'll hide my dock menu so you could you guys could see the bottom here wait the bottom area and now since I have to get off this island I'm gonna click on the pokeball here the down the touchpad works with your mouse it's a mouse here and so anyways isn't this supposed to be another Pokemon? Lakne King Gin. Weird names people put nowadays. Anyways, let's go on. Use a move. Use a move. I'll use fly. And then fly to somewhere. I don't know. Maybe here. Oh yeah, it, there's a good place. I can show you guys the Pokemon Center and the cave. So let's fly there. And here comes a weird part. Really, really weird part. And with this really low frame rate, uh, it's gonna look really even more weird. Here comes the bird. It looks like a PG for one thing. I mean, just look at it. Look at his face. Look at his face. There you go. Look at it. It's not even the bird we were telling to use fly. So I'm pretty sure that's not even a Pokemon. I mean, it's a blue weird thing. I'm not sure if this happens in the original game, but in the PC game, somehow it's a really weird thing. And I didn't move at all, and I've gotten to another island. Wow, great. Okay, fine. If it was fast, you could understand. But now, it's really slow. Citrus so should really do some editing and hope it's fast. So, let's go down. Oh, wait. Let's go in. Now, why am I going in? Oh, yeah. I want to see the Pokemon I have in my PC, although it's not my PC. I mean, not my PC in the game. I didn't play the game at all. I wanted to show you guys, so that's why. It looks so pretty 3D-ish. Now, where is the PC? There you go. That's the thing I'm looking for. Well, it's really slow. That's something we'd expect. And let's boot up the system. Why can't I click A? Okay, I see. You have to keep on clicking. It's that slow. Tepuzu booted up the PC. Which PC should be accessed? Uh, Linux PC, I guess. Withdraw Pokemon. I'm gonna take out some Mega Evolutions. If there are any Mega Evolutions, I guess. Oh, I have a Deoxys and a Groudon. I'm going to take those two. Yeah. I'm going to read through. I 
I already have her equation. Now who cares? I'm just gonna exit from here. Yeah, by the way, this guy has all the mega stones, omega gems. Also, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I guess that's enough for the video today. Because I was not expecting to go do a gameplay. I was just expecting to tell you guys how you can play it. And uh, how you can yeah, play the game. So the links will be in the description. Subscribe, like, and comment. Any doubts you have, I'll try to clarify for you. Um, the crashes, I'm really sorry. Let's hope there's a new update. If there's an update, I'll update you. Until then, see you. Bye bye.